This video provides instructions on how to configure the software iSCSI adapter in the VMware host client version 1.8.0 and later. Before you can use your remote storage systems, you need to configure ESXi using the iSCSI configuration tool available in the VMware host client. To complete the iSCSI configuration process, you must set up networking, activate the adapter, and configure parameters such as discovery addresses and CHAP. VMware recommends that when you configure iSCSI, you provision a dedicated network adapter with at least one gigabit per second link speed capabilities. To configure the software iSCSI adapter in the VMware host client, log into the VMware host client. Go to Storage Adapters. Click Configure iSCSI. Verify that iSCSI is enabled. If it is not, select Enabled. Wait for the procedure to complete. Click Add Port Binding. Select a VM kernel NIC and click Select. Click Add Static Target. Enter the target name. Enter the target address. Expand the CHAP Authentication Option menu. Select Use CHAP. Enter the CHAP username. Enter CHAP password. Click Save Configuration. Click Refresh, and after the dialog closes, verify that the new devices appear on the Devices tab. Go to Adapters and click Configure iSCSI. Remove the static target. Click Save Configuration. Go to Devices, click Refresh, and verify that the device disappears. Go to Adapters and click Configure iSCSI. Click Add Dynamic Target. When you add dynamic targets, the iSCSI system also populates discovered targets in the static targets list. If you wish to remove the dynamic target, remove the static target as well. Enter the address of the target. Click Save Configuration. Click Refresh and after the dialog closes, verify that the new device appears on the Devices tab. For more information about the tasks that you can perform by using the VMware Host Client, see the vSphere Single Host Management VMware Host Client documentation at pubs.vmware.com.